I really like drawing characters that have huge over-the-top expressions. I, I've even kind of worked that into my art style. I tend to draw characters with huge eyes and very elastic -y mouths um, that can go very big or very tiny. They are, like, definitely left over from my my roots in when I was learning to draw. I basically learned by drawing anime and manga characters, so that is definitely a holdover I have. But I do love just the huge big expressions that come along with all that. Character expression is my fave. If I could draw a comic that was all just shots of characters' faces emoting, that's my dream. <laughs> Though that is basically what comics are. So I'm in the right job. So I love big exaggerated expression. I love tailoring expressions to character personality. Those two are my faves. I think it's something I've always tried to do naturally, but more recently while working on Nine Point, I've tried to really hone the expression to the character's personality because different characters will emote differently. You know, a character who's very moody will not show happiness the same way someone who is very exuberant. You know, they will express the same emotion very differently. And it's, it, you know, you can push their expressions in very different ways, um, depending on who they are as a person. So what I tend to do when I'm designing a character right from the get-go is I also design their, their expressions along the way. I'll usually start with creating a base for my character where, you know, I get the general idea of what I have for the character, I sketch that down, and then I will go into expressions. Usually before uh, Bones will okay a character design, he needs to see how they emote um, because that is one of the most important parts of what they will be doing in the comic. So I usually will work on expressions, their body language, their facial expressions, because all that goes into how a character expresses themselves. Then from there, I will hone their, uh, you know, their costume, their body shape. A lot of that can be honed by working on how they emote, if that makes sense. If you want more detailed looks into that, you can check out our vlog series on my character development work for Scourge of Nine Point. There, I go in depth quite a bit about designing characters. But if you are working on, you know, figuring out how to make your characters express and emote really big and exaggerated and clearly, I would suggest starting with a base. If you just want to practice expression, which is totally cool, it's fine to just take something and really focus on it. Even if it, this base is just like, you know, a doll face or your default blank character face, you don't have to worry about like body type or anything like that, or face shape. Um, just focus on trying to express different emotions <laughs> um, and tailor it to the to a specific personality. You know, figure out how your one character, how they express you know, anger or embarrassment or happiness or sadness or endearment. Draw your first impression of what you think those emotions will look like um, and grab references when you're starting out. You know, grab photographs of sad people. <laughs> um, you know, grab screenshots from your favorite movies and shows. Um, grab artist references. Look in the mirror and try out different expressions. That's how I get a lot of my expressions when I'm drawing, is I will make the face and figure out how it looks. <laughs> and once you have all that down, once you've got your references, once you've tried putting down a few expressions, try pushing them further. You know, maybe make the mouth bigger, maybe make the eyes bigger, or change the, um, I guess, position of the eyes, you know, where they're looking, if their eyelids are narrowed or wide, um, if they have any creases or furrows in their brow. But yeah, push it as far as you can. Um, I find something that I fall into when I'm trying to make a character look mysterious or moody or, or I'm trying to give them that kind of like model look, I will really mute the expression. And while it can look very pretty and it can work for very uh, mysterious or reserved characters, it's still better to push the expression, I guess. <laughs> Unless you're definitely going for like a really reserved thing. I like to push the expression and make it really big. Try it out in different ways. Because um, I definitely have default expressions that I go to and it's really good to push yourself out of that comfort zone and draw an emotion a different way. Because you don't want your characters all expressing 
in the same way. Because like I said, different people express their emotions very differently. It'll help differentiate your characters in your comic or your project. And it just adds like a little bit extra flavor to your to your cool comic there. Go practice your expressions. I'm gonna talk about Chad and Henry here. They are also from the Space Kids RP. Um, I talked about them in episode 3. Bones recently talked about them in the video about Snake Mom and Goat Dad. Um, Chad and Henry are sweeties. Chad is an alien. Henry is a human. They are living on Earth. They are roommates in college. I guess if you haven't seen the episode where I talk about Daph and Brad, basically, um, Space Kids RP, aliens are real, they are on Earth, but people on Earth don't know about it. Um, it's a secret program put together by Space Wizards. So yeah, go listen to that episode if you want to learn more about that. Chad, he is an alien, like I said. He is from a planet that is outside of the, the system. Uh, which is like the planets that are all under the wizard government. Um, so his planet is applying for status in the system. He wants to become a wizard, so he's enrolled in uh, the schooling necessary, and which has led him to a, a travel year on Earth where he is studying to be a wizard and hanging out on Earth. So his planet... He's not a he's not a human. He looks like a human, but he's from a planet where humanity's like common ancestors split off into a whole bunch of different like humanoid species. So there's lots of like intelligent species on his planet that look like humans, but they're all like slightly different. He's just one of them that looks really human. Also on his planet, they are at a technological level where they can really change someone's beauty through like surgeries and um, uh, just the technology they have. So everything is like, you know, crazy. Think like the Hunger Games fashion where it's all weird. They're really obsessed with like symmetry. At least him and his family are. He's got a whole bunch of older brothers who are a lot more successful than him and they have a lot more status than him. So they've been able to like alter their appearance quite a lot. Um, and he's always been very jealous of them. Um, so he wants to become a wizard to make himself more beautiful and like symmetrical and to have a one up on his mean brothers. So he's hanging out on earth. He's living the college life. He's in a dorm with Brad and Henry. Henry is a, he's a student studying journalism and he is a troublemaker. He, he was the first character I made for the Space Kids RP. Um, and he's a total, like, he's a snoop. He will get all up in people's grill and snoop around and stuff. Um, and he's also, like, incredibly annoying. He will find anything that, like, riles you up and just, like, poke it. And, like, he's partly doing it to, like, get laughs because he makes a big joke about everything, especially, like, his feelings and his emotions and, like, he's always smiling um, and he never takes anything seriously. But, yeah, it really annoys people and he does it a lot to just get attention. I guess. Good or bad, he just wants you to pay attention to him. So he he is also a big gay. He will flirt with all the boys. And so he's always like making jokes about like Brad who's all like sporty and he's like, oh my beefy boy, we're gonna make out later. And Brad's like, haha, okay Henry. Like he's very he's very good natured about it. He knows Henry's just like vying for attention. Um, but he, Henry also does it to Chad. And at first Chad is very like, he doesn't know how to react to it. He's very like moody and reserved. And he, he's a big grump. And he, he is totally thrown off by Henry. Cause like for one, he doesn't want Henry snooping around and finding out he's an alien. Cause he will get in trouble from the wizard space government. And he doesn't want that. <laughs> he doesn't want to go home without any magic. And he's also like, he's a total goody two-shoes. He's like always doing his homework and stuff. <laughs> so I don't know if he's always like the best at it. He's trying, but like he's, he's, he's learning magic. He's, he's still new to it. <laughs> but yeah, so he's really nervous about Henry finding out about him. And he's also very like sensitive about his looks because of the weird beauty standards on his planet. So like he uses magic to kind of cover up how he really looks. 
Um, so, like, he changes the appearance of, like, his nose and he makes his face look more symmetrical. And it probably, like, if he took it away, you probably wouldn't see very much difference, but it's, like, a big deal for him. So he's got very poor, like, body image. And so, like, Henry's always, like, poking fun at him and saying, like, oh, you wear, I know you wear makeup and, like, I know you probably had, like, plastic surgery or something and Chad gets all, like, riled up about it and he's like, oh, that Henry. But then Henry also flirts with him and he's like... I don't know how I feel about this. I blush. Why am I blushing? <laughs> so they, for the longest time, they have like, like, they have like a, a, not a hate ship, but like, they annoy each other for the longest time and flirt and stuff. And eventually Brad is like, Henry, do you like Chad? And Henry's like, what? No, you like Chad. And Brad's like, okay, Henry, sure thing. So... <laughs> for a while, Henry, like, stops bothering Chad because he's like, I don't want him to think that I like him because I totally don't like him. Because, like, as soon as things get, like, real for Henry, he, like, backs off. He's really afraid of, like, addressing his emotions. Um, and he's he's very rarely, like, sincere. And if he is, he tries to, like, blow it off with a joke. But when he's ignoring Chad, Chad's like, does he not like me? <laughs> Did I do something wrong? And he, like puts up his guard and he's all like extra grumpy because he's, he's now he's mad at Henry for not annoying him. So <laughs> yeah. Um, then big plotty things happen, which we will go more into in a future video. Um, but basically the, the space government finds out that, you know, their cover's been blown. A bunch of people on this college campus, like Henry and all his friends, find out about aliens. Um, and so the government swoops in and, like, takes all the aliens out of there and wipes all the memories of all the humans. Eventually, Brad figures it out. They go to save all their alien friends. Um, but Chad gets sent home to his planet, and because he's not part of the system, he doesn't, like get to stay in contact with anyone, um, and he's forced to, like, be with his family again, and he probably won't become a wizard because he got in trouble. So he eventually, like, gets off his planet. He goes to the system. He meets up with all his alien friends. Yeah, they go to stay with Jake. Jake will be talked about in a future video. He's a sweet alien boy who is very, like, sensitive. Um, he's, like, hypersensitive to, like, stimuli, so, like, noise and touch, and, um, he's also got, like, a very sensitive personality, so, like, he can't handle, like, really intense emotions and, like, thoughts. He's a total sweet babe. I won't go too much into his story, but he has a very rich mom figure in his life, um, who's also, like, a space lawyer, and so she offers, like, protection to a bunch of the alien kids, and they all go meet up there. Eventually, um, Chad and Henry are able to meet up again, and they get together, and they are a sweet couple, um, <laughs> and Chad kind of opens up more to Henry, and, um, he kind of lets his grumpiness drop, and he's very sincere, and he talks about his family and stuff, and Henry, at first, does not know how to deal with this, but he, he eventually opens up and calms down a little bit. And actually has- they have some sincere talks and get serious plot stuff done <laughs> that I'll talk about later. Bones will probably talk about in- in his future videos, um, about the space kids. Um, so yeah, that's Chad and Henry. They're- they're adorable. We also call Chad Chadley because the other- other roommate is Bradley, so it was Henry, Bradley, and Chadley, and they're really cute. Um, yeah. They're good bro friends, all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seriously love Henry. He's my problem child. <laughs> okay, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you want to see more Inktober videos, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out the anthology we're working on, Moonlight. Submissions are open currently, so if you have a comic pitch or a short story, go check it out in the description down below. And I will see you guys... Next time. Goodbye.